Hello everybody, it's Dr. D'Amico here at Skin Care Fort Worth. I hope everybody's still staying safe and staying at home and doing all their social distancing. That's very, very important to keep this thing from getting any worse and ending as soon as possible. Today we're going to just do a few little Botox 101 sessions and we're going to just kind of talk about how we use Botox and uh, the different areas and other issues surrounding Botox. When we use Botox on the face, there's three main areas that we use and then a bunch of other lesser areas. The first area that we use Botox is here in the forehead for these horizontal lines that people get. And then we also use Botox in the frown line area and also in the crow's feet area. And each area is defined basically by a group of muscles. So the forehead area is comprised mainly of two great big muscles called the frontalis muscles. And when they contract, it squishes the skin in your forehead into little folds. And over time, those folds become permanent wrinkles. So if we put Botox in those muscles, which relaxes them for several months, that keeps the skin from being wrinkled up and it helps get rid of those wrinkles. Because those muscles, not only do they make those wrinkles in your forehead, but they also lift your eyebrows up and hold your eyebrows up. They're the only muscles that do that. So if we weaken the muscles that are holding up your eyebrows or weaken them in an unbalanced way, then you can get the heaviness and the droopiness and all those things people worry about. Now, as far as how much Botox we use, normally in my practice, I put somewhere between 10 and 16 units in a typical female patient scattered around in the forehead. Sometimes we put less, sometimes we might put a little bit more, but that's what I usually use is somewhere between 10 and 16 units. And the first time I do a patient, a female patient, I never put more than 10 units at the first time and sometimes only six or eight units, just so we can make sure that we avoid any droopiness or heaviness or things like that until I know how this patient uh, responds to the Botox. So we take 10 to 16 units and scatter it around depending on the pattern of wrinkles that the person might have, put it in the strategic places but after the first treatment, you still have some extra movement or some wrinkles that are still there. You don't have to wait for three or four months to come back in and start all over and do it right the next time. You can come back in in a week or two if it's still some having some wrinkling and extra movement. And oftentimes those wrinkles will be down here. If people have these little low line wrinkles right above the eyebrow, those are the ones that we have to kind of stay away from the first go around because these muscle fibers down here are doing more of the work lifting your brow than these muscle fibers up here. So I tend to stay on the top half of the forehead and sometimes these muscle, these fibers down here will still be functioning and you'll still have a little wrinkle. And you just come back in in a week or so after the initial treatment, we put a little drop of Botox there or there or wherever it needs to be and you can then knock out those extra wrinkles, usually without any worry about any droopiness if you're just putting a unit at a, or so at a time. So that's the way I usually treat the female forehead, somewhere between 10 and 16 units. I always write that down here. 10 to 16 units in the forehead. Sometimes a little more, sometimes even less than 10 units. Now in men, it's a little different story as far as all areas with Botox men usually need more Botox than women because Botox, I tell my patients, is a muscle mass game. The more muscle mass you have, the more Botox you need. And even in the face, men's muscles are a little bit bigger than women's muscles, so they need a little bit more Botox than women do. So when men come in and I do their forehead, I usually start at 16 units, sometimes even 20 units to start with and sometimes we have to go up from there. So if you're a man and you come in and your wife got 10 units and that was good and you wonder why I'm putting 20 units in you, well, that's the thing. 
our muscles in the forehead or in, and everywhere else for that matter are bigger and stronger and then you need a bigger dose of Botox. And we're still shooting for May 1st to open back up again as long as it's okay with all the powers that be and we'll start working again then, May 1st. So you can start making your appointments for May if you'd like and also I do believe our online store for products is still open and you can still get some skincare products there if you need to. Otherwise, I'll be talking to you again soon and we'll talk about a different area. Bye-bye.